Fearless Mary by Tammy Charles. Uh, Fearless Mary, her name is Mary Fields, and she is an American stagecoach driver. So I'm going to read about a character, person, named Fearless Mary. To Jennifer Charlize Peters, the most fearless woman I know, from the author, and from the illustrator, to my sweet nieces, all six of them. And then notice on the wall there, it says, Help Wanted Stagecoach Driver. And this reminds me of the book I did a book talk on this year with the woman, the girl, that wanted to be a stagecoach driver. And it kind of goes right along with Amelia Earhart and Billie Jean. This is a time where women were told no, that they could not do those kinds of things. So let's see what happens with Mary. In the city of Cascade, Montana, Mary Field sees help wanted signs everywhere. The city needs a new stagecoach driver to make deliveries to a school, St. Peter's, Saint Peter's Mission. It's a good job, an important job, but a dangerous one too. It's 1895. Wow, that's a long time ago, huh? And I noticed there's no cars, there's the stagecoaches, the wagons. So also evidence this is a long time ago, right? Sending supplies and messages to Cascade is easy thanks to telegraphs and trains. But the trails that snake through the mountains up to St. Peter's make it almost impossible to reach. The best way to deliver the mail there is by stagecoach. Outlaws prey on stagecoaches, which carry valuable supplies, money, and food. Wild animals prey on them, too. The stagecoach is usually guarded by one person, the driver. To do the job, you need to be smart, tough, and unshakable. As a former slave who traveled to the West alone to seek opportunity, Mary Fields is all of those things. Reminds me of the strength of Harriet Tubman. With the job comes respect and high wages, nearly $75 a month. With that kind of pay, a person can live a good life. But most people think a job like this is meant for men, not women, and especially not an ex-slave. Getting the job will be hard for Mary, even though the Wild West is supposed to be a land of opportunity. Everything is segregated. Whites-only restaurants. Whites-only jobs. Whites-only pay. That doesn't stop Mary. It only makes her want to prove that everyone should be equal, including women. Sounds like a whole bunch of our characters we've read about this year so far and people, the real people we've read about in the past. So the next day, Mary gallops into town, face pointed toward the sky, ready to take her chance. At least 40 cowboys try out for the job, and Mary steps right up with them. We don't hire people like you, the manager says. Mary stands tall and squares her shoulders. She lived the first 33 years of her life without freedom, and now she'd spend the rest of it making sure she got an equal shot at a good life. I'm Mary Fields. I can outride any man trying out for this job. Mary refuses to leave. She waits her turn to show what she can do. One by one, the cowboys try their best. They swing their lassos, saddle up the horses real fine. But Mary knows she can do that, and more. So, she steps forward again, but the manager points. I said not you. You don't belong here. I'll show you I do. And she does. Mary hitches six horses, cracks her whip, speeds up the hill, and back around. The horse's hooves clumping on earth-shaking ground. She is a force. What? What? What's your name again? The man asks. I'm Mary Fields, but you can call me Fearless. No need to look further. The job is hers. 
No African-American woman has ever been hired to drive a stagecoach in Cascade or in the rest of the country. Mary Fields is the first. Being first is hard. Not everyone likes the idea of a woman driving a stagecoach. So, believe Mary, or sorry, some believe Mary can't do the job because she is a woman and because of the color of her skin. But Mary is unbreakable, unshakable. She travels rugged mountain trails. It's hard to navigate, but Mary can read all kinds of maps, including star patterns in the dark sky. Thieves try to steal from her wagon. Little do they know, Mary's got herself a pet eagle, trained as her faithful protector. They don't stand a chance. What a brilliant idea. On one moonless night, Mary's wagon hits a gully. Horse screams pierce the air. Packages fly everywhere. And a gang of hungry wolves creeps out from the shadows. Mary's cargo is important. Food to feed the school children. Letters for loved ones sent from far away. It's her job to protect her, her horses and make sure the children at St. Peter's receive their packages. Mary stands guard all night, iron weapon pressed against her back. With the eagle at her side, she keeps the wolves at bay until the sun rises and chases them away. Mary never loses a single horse or package. Now I'm really seeing the evidence of why she is called fearless. Fearless Mary. Word of Mary's courage spreads throughout Cascade. She becomes a hometown hero. The stagecoach driver who fended off wolves, trudged through heavy snow, and never missed a single day of work. No task was too small, no task too dangerous. And in time, she would become known as a groundbreaker, a history maker. Mary rides those trails for eight years until she is in her 70s. More women begin to drive stagecoaches and deliver mail across the United States. Fearless, like Mary. Faces pointed to the sky with confidence. As the years go by, cars, telephones, and airplanes are invented. Delivering the mail becomes easier, less dangerous. And thanks to Mary and others like her, a job held by many women. Today, Mary's bravery is remembered in Cascade and throughout the country. Delivery men and women still face long days on the road and harsh weather at times, but nothing like the dangers Mary faced in the Wild West. Every now and then, if you listen closely, you'll hear her voice whispering in the wind. I'm Mary Fields, but you can call me Fearless. Author's Note One day during Women's History Month, I browsed Facebook. An interesting article appeared in my news feed. Mary Fields put the wild and wild west. The picture showed a woman proudly perched on a stagecoach. The look on her face told a story of hardship and triumph. I had to learn more about her. Finding information about Mary Fields wasn't easy, though the Smithsonian, Smithsonian efforts are, sorry, offers great resources about the history of women in the Postal Service. Many accounts of Mary's life are spotty and conflicting, but all agree that she is fearless, that she fearlessly stood against prejudice and applied for one of the most dangerous jobs in the Wild West. The odds were stacked against her. She was a former slave who still faced racial discrimination. And she was a woman trying out for what many considered a man's job. And she was in her 60s. I wrote Fearless Mary to imagine how she earned the job as a mail carrier and won the hearts of the people of Cascade, Montana. 
There's no record of the conversation between Mary Fields and the stagecoach hiring manager. But I base their dialogue on what I've learned about Mary and the resistance she faced as she forged her path. Additionally, Mary's encounter with a wolf occurred before she was hired, back when she worked for the St. Peter's Mission, and often ran deliveries through Cascade. But the encounter is a memorable example of the bravery and reliability she was known for as a stagecoach driver. Mary Fields didn't allow prejudice, prejudices to hold her back from accomplishing her goals. She is an unsung hero, one whose name should be recognized for all she did and everything she stood for. Mary Fields inspires me to be fearless, and I hope she'll do the same for you. Written by Tammy Charles. And on the picture it says, Call her a legend. Call her a trailblazer. Call her fearless. And now as we end this story, boys and girls, I'd like you on Seesaw to tell me what did she inspire in you, but not just that you're fearless. Where are, when are you fearless? When do you feel the most fearless? Or what does she inspire you to want to do and be fearless about? And tell me about it. You can write it in your journal and share it with me or share a video and share it with the class. What are, how does Fearless Mary bring out your fearlessness?